Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of a new series of videos where we dive into the myths and legends of your favourite games. I'm your host, Mr. Bandit, and today we'll be diving into the gloomy polluted streets of GTA 3's Liberty City. It's mostly accepted by the GTA player base that the last we see of Catalina is in the mission The Exchange. However, some people believe that her ghost remains wandering around the place of her death, looking to attack Claude. However, as there is no evidence in the game files or any videos or photos of this apparition, it's largely believed to be a fake myth. So, we have all heard the stories and rumours of Bigfoot in GTA San Andreas. But, what is less discussed is the rumours of Bigfoot in GTA 3 as he is reported to roam the lower area of the Cedar Ridge Observatory. However, similar to the ghost of Catalina, no evidence of this exists in the game files, meaning it's most likely bullshit. Salvatore Leone is a character that appears fairly frequently throughout the 3D universe of GTA games, including GTA 3 where he gives Claude missions until last requests when he betrays Claude and tries to have him killed. Which goes horribly wrong, especially in Sayonara Salvatore, when Claude kills him, ending the tale of Salvatore. Or, well, that's what's commonly accepted, as some players believe that his ghost still haunts his house long after his death. As some players have reported seeing shadows near his club and the sound of a piano coming from his former residence, now, while the last part is 100% true, it's most likely an oversight, meaning this myth is most likely false. One of the more likely rumours of GTA 3 is a pair of glowing eyes in the distance. These eyes are believed to belong to a monster of some sort. However, that's likely not true, as the supposed eyes are probably two stars in the distance too close together, or a distant vehicle that hasn't quite loaded in properly. This one is partially true, but not in the way that you probably think, so I'll get to that in a minute. This rumour involves a pedestrian in GTA 3 who wears a trench coat and roams Portland. He was believed to attack Claude for no reason whatsoever. However, no evidence of this exists within the game files, meaning that part of the myth is about as real as my dignity. However, the ped model is used for the side character and serial killer Marty Chonks in his final mission when he is killed. Some people believe that after the mission Blowfish, the ruins of the fish factory is filled with the ghosts of the triad who died in the explosion, with voices being reportedly heard in the ruins. However, these voices are most likely to be a glitch, as like many of the myths in this video, no evidence of this exists within the game files meaning it's most likely false. No 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 Ratman While we're familiar with the myth of Ratman in GTA 4, what we're less familiar with is the GTA 3 version, as it's rumoured that in the subway tunnel near Liberty Campus, a man-sized rat creature roams, awaiting the player. Now, like pretty much every damn myth on this list, it's not real, as first off, the main character can't even swim or ride bikes due to the software limitations of 2001, so why would they waste precious space on a ped that does nothing for the game? And second, like every other rumour on here, there is no evidence in the game files, meaning there's more of a chance of your dad coming back with the milk than this being true. But hey, there are posters for a musical called Rats in the Subway Station, Though, that's most likely a reference to the musical Cats. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll all see you in the next video. Goodbye!